What's going on my friend? Sim Chow Fitness here. Uh, I wanted to get right into it. Vegan gains. I'm on my way to work, but I want, I want to shoot this video real quick because I feel compelled to do so, right? Now you see Vegan Gains, right, has recently hit 100,000 subscribers and furthermore, his quality of videos has increased, right? So his videos are definitely getting better. They're getting more likes and I think that he's making better arguments and he's coming off as less of a psychopath. But that does not change the fact that he is still incorrect. He is still very much mis... His information is very misplaced. Now I want to go back for a second. I want to tell you guys how come I feel so strongly against who he is and what he does. One of the main reasons that I feel this way is because for those of you who follow my channel, you know that one of my main struggles with life was getting, uh, getting big, right? Building size, building strength. That was the limiting factor for me. I was unable to gain a lot of size. I was unable to gain a lot of strength. And it was only due to excessive eating, both meat and dairy, that I was able to obtain the size that I am, right? Being muscular, being big, being strong was the only way I was able to get a large amount of protein in my diet was through eating meat and uh, meat and dairy. So when I see a guy like Vegan Gaines who's telling these young impressionable youngsters to go ahead and make gains by being vegan, that's an in-context contradiction. That doesn't make any sense. That's not going to allow these kids who look up to him to gain any size. That's why it bothers me so much. It bothers me so much because there's so many people out there who are trying to make gains. They're trying to get muscular. They're trying to be strong. They're trying to grow in confidence. They're trying the best they possibly can to build some muscle and be, you know, liked by girls and just grow in confidence and be the alpha and just all those good things that come with being in shape and building a muscular physique, right? And then you got this vegan gain guy, vegan gains guy, Richard, and he comes along and tells everybody, no, you don't need to do it like that. Well, I'll tell you right now, that's not the case. That's just not the case. You need to get the dairy. You need to get the meat. You need to get the stuff in. Now, I will say to you that the suffering of animals is a terrible thing. But in the wild, every single day, there's pe there's animals suffering every single day in the wild, with, from you know antelope to lion and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. You know, predator versus prey. That's the circle of life. You gotta understand that. Right now, it happens to be the meat industry. Yes, it could be more humane. The you know the industrialization of of processing animals and so on and so forth is wrong. Yes, but the answer is not to go vegan. The answer is to fix the way the meat industry is run. That's all this is about. The answer is to fix the way things are run. The way to fix the way these these animals are slaughtered. Maybe, you know, we don't have to mistreat them before we slaughter them. But does that mean to go vegan? No, it does not, right? Now, once again, uh, I want to close this video off by telling you one thing. You know, commonly he cites a lot of cases for why veganism is good. He said, well, you know, vegans ha are the least uh, likely to develop cancer or heart attacks and so on and so forth. I want to tell you that a lot of those statements, a lot of those studies are based on the fact that by definition, vegans are going to get less calories than meat eaters simply because of that. Thus, they will be in better shape just because they're on a lower calorie budget. Anytime you go ahead and you lower your calories, you're going to lose weight regardless if it's meat, if it's veg vegetables, if it's fruit, if it's bread, if it's dairy, it doesn't matter. And when you're a lower weight, you will automatically be less prone to these diseases. So it's not so much the veganism that's going to go ahead and prevent you from getting cancer or heart disease or whatever, what have you. It's rather lowering your calories, living a healthy lifestyle that's going to do it. So don't mistake that. What that means is pretty much you have these vegans. They go vegan. They're automatically lowering their calories because they're only eating whole foods. They're not eating processed foods. They're not eating, uh, you know, they're not eating uh, all this other stuff. So therefore, they're healthier. It just makes it have nothing to do with going vegan. Going vegan is like running across a bunch of burning hot coals, right? And eventually, you'll get in great shape running across those burning hot coals every day. But you'll also burn your feet. Right? It's the same type of scenario, same type of situation. And as he gets more followers, as he gets
gets more people watching his videos. I feel more and more compelled to put the truth out there so guys can get big, so guys can get muscular, so guys can continue to make some gains in the gym, some real gains. Right, and then we will we will get over this. And for those who want to be a vegan, go ahead. But for those who want to make solid gains in the gym, trust me on this one. You guys are gonna to want to follow me. Dairy, milk, eggs, all that stuff is never is never gonna trump. You're never gonna have vegan stuff trump that stuff. Go with that meat stuff. Go with that dairy stuff. Go with the eggs. You will get big. That's the way to do it, man. That's the way to do it. Um. Yeah, I'm all out. I'm all out, man. I got nothing for you guys. Uh, video coming up later. Uh, don't forget to subscribe down below. Leave a comment if you like commenting. And uh, we'll uh, we'll see where this thing goes, man. This is bad news. Bad news. He's, got, he's getting a lot of views. He's getting a lot of likes, man. A lot of people are buying into this. A lot of people are losing their gains through it. That's just... All right. I'll see you all later. Peace.